So you need to track the vertical. For the most part, the biggest impact for us right now is vertical. Um, <clears throat> we have a value coming at 41 degrees right now. So we get a value coming in for the vertical. That's not a problem. But we can convert that into a percentage from 0% for the for here and 100% for over there. Then we can. that's all we need to do to start with. That gets us 95% like efficiency on these panels. On, the, on, a single, on a single run. Um, okay. Look. But like I say, the, uh, all the guides are talking about setting the... Uh, <clears throat> having light sensors and setting modes, but these are daylight sensors and they, they're new basically. So the guide's old, so the guide doesn't work. So we need a new guide. That needs to go there. That goes. It needs a set memory. Set to. Okay. Type solar panel, set you. vertical. Set map unit. <clears throat> the daylight sensor must be facing east at sunrise, but its rotation doesn't matter. Solar panels should be rotated, such as 0% vertical rotating face says east, and 100% is vertical. Yeah? Are you in the old guide still? I'm just looking through it, like... If, if it tells it. you to set the daylight sensor to a mode 2 or something like that, then it's the old guide. Because the, these ones don't have a, a setting on them. Right, okay. No, it doesn't say anything about mode 2. Wait. From sensor. Uh, okay. I don't think it says anything about mold. Good. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I'm looking at the Reddit icon right now. The easiest way to do it is to get two logic one. This would make eight months ago, so hopefully, right? Memory, one sensor, plus a ton of cable, which is what I've got. <clears throat> uh, plus your sensor needs to give you a reading of zero to 180 for the sun angle. Your solar panel has a tilt of 0 to 100, yep. So take your logic I.O., put down the logic reader and set it to read the sensor's daylight angle. Then set your logic memory to 1.8. Okay, let me try this. This is from the Reddit article, so maybe it's a bit more up to date. You're at 1.8. You are reading the... You need, to, you need to read the daylight, it said. Solar angle, which is 14 degrees. Where's the sun? Up there, okay. Yeah, the sun's... Def we definitely need to uh, <coughs> handle two angles at some point because it's definitely... Um, what do you call it? Definitely going across the sky right now. More than it was before. Um, anyway, I'm, doing, I'm going for the simple version right now. We'll do, we'll do a more complicated version when we can figure the damn thing out later on. Um, Set to read a daylight angle, then take a let your memory logic set to 8. Then take your logic processor, set it to divide the angle of the reader by the logic memory. Okay, so I need the that's why I would need the logic processor. That's the math group, that's math unit. Okay, that's what I need. That math unit, and it needs to take that value and that value. Uh, and then his power. Get in there, I hope. Okay, that should power it. Uh, it takes. Oops, screwed over. It takes that body reader <coughs> and divides. Uh, then that'll need to look back around there. So I need the wire cutters. Probably a crept on more wire at some point soon. I'm making some now. And the screwdriver again. Logic memory. That gives me a value of 
25.26 okay give me about 26 uh link to the logic divided by 1.8 get your value of 1 to 100 then get your other logic io and make it a batch writer Batch reader. Batch writer, okay. Now, where do you, can I put that anywhere here? No, that's why I need the bigger wall to work with, basically. Put that there for now. Uh, it can go there. Power and any the wire cutters. Uh, that can go here. There. There, like this is the power for the circuit, but your input needs to come from here. Okay, so screwdriver. Your input. Let's see. Uh, yeah, your batch right Have it. Have it take the process of one to a hundred. So you need to your logic math. 40 right now. You need to you need to take the logic math in. Uh, you need to output that. I need the wire cutter again. Screwdriver again. Damn it with all these screwdrivers and wires and stuff. That I can't set right now. Right. Uh, I think I so that's encounter a big issue. What's that? We need to get power into that area, but also get power into the doors. Can I somehow right. maybe? Right. Memory. What do you really? Gives me a 50. And then you. You're picking up batch 1.8. You're picking up from the logic math. 53, 54. Perfect. Okay. Then you need to output that to the solar panel duo to the. Mode okay, it doesn't go okay. Uh, then you need to make logic write it. This is the writer, make it the right logic write. It will write a single solar panel, but it, but if it's a batch, it will write it to all solar panels in the network. <coughs> okay, so you need to drive really cool. Okay, so you're getting 50, you're in that. That's going out to the solar panel. And here I need to cycle you to the vertical. Vertical. I keep forgetting it's the one on the left hand side of the thing, not the one on the top. All right, now you need to be rotated a bit now. No, I'll need the wrench for this. Think we may have it solved. Power critical. It says my power is critical. What's my power actually at? Nine percent. I'm fine. We're at 90 degrees right now, so this should be set to zero. Because that's the side the sun was on last, so. Oh, hydration's also zero. Coming for hydration and power. <laughs> I'm only dying a little bit, don't worry about it. That's 
one. There's a 50% chance we got it covered now. Just got a notification from Twitch. Hey there, cutie. Peter Taylor is streaming. <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh, I kid you not. Hey, uh, there's the cat in front of your health status. I kid you not. The cat in front of my health status. My health status is here. Ugh. And the cat's here. If you mean the uh, the smudgy white and white thing, I can get rid of it if you wish. Can't lock that way. This is locked. How does this get locked? Unlock. How do I unlock it? <laughs> Mate, eh? The game hates me. Wrench. Zero degrees. Right. Set to 90 then. Oop, wrong way. It moved by itself. So hopefully that'll stay where it's supposed to be. Right, that's 90 degrees by 96 degrees right now. I'm coming to bed. Oh, one, two. Why do you suddenly need to be? <laughs> there was. I think it was Molly. Uh, we do have Polly. Hi, Polly. She's just sat here nicely just watching. Hi. Why did I get a notification that you're streaming? I have no idea. I haven't stopped. Twitch being Twitch. Right, Mater, here's what I need to do. I need to close this box without turning the power off. Because the power goes off, all these circuits get erased. <coughs> but it says locked. I don't know how, to, how it got locked. I don't know how to unlock it. Because the battery switch is the on off switch, it's not the lock switch, so that's the battery. How did I need it to be closed so we don't accidentally put battery on? I accidentally turn it off. Any ideas? Power box. Power box area. Station ears. Station ears. Area. Power control. Lock. It's a data parameter, then like, lock it. But can I do it manually? Do I have to put. Like, don't make me do, make me do the thing. Don't make me do it. Can I manually unlock it? I think I accidentally set a lock value when I was. Uh, when I was setting it up, <coughs> the circuit. Uh, but it's just like. Can, 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 we, can we close it? <laughs> I mean, I have a solution to it. I can just run a cable across here. Take it out and put it back in again, but just I'd like to be able not to have to do that if I can help it. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I think you got locked by the circuit, but uh, yeah, I think we have to just leave it for that for now. 
Why is everything more complicated than it needs to be? Why, Polly? Why? There you go. Okay, you're being awkward now. Because I put the treats on the table, she jumped on the floor for the treats. So now I have to scoop off the table and put them on the floor for her. There we go. Alright. So I think that goes over twice a day then, doesn't it? Okay. Mate, do you have the uh, cables, by the way? the wire? Because I don't have enough wire to do this. Just need this setting up. Um, if you could uh, run that wire into that data port, that'd be great. Okay, they're, they're wrong. They're facing the wrong. They're going the wrong way right now. Sun's up behind them. So that circuit's not working. 42. 42. So we can 75 on the vertical. Screwdriver. It said to read the solar angle, didn't it? Because the sun's angle is 69, 68, math course is 37. There. They need the, yeah, the horizontal is changing. Horizontal is changing. They're at 90, set them to zero. Uh, minus 90 then. <clears throat> there we go, that hopefully, yeah, minus 90 should do it, or plus 180 on, on yours if you want to do it that way, if it should work. Maybe set the input to solar angle into it. I, it's a, the problem is, when I, when I see the value, I look at the, I'll show you what I'm, what I'm seeing, um, compared to what it says, because I, I, it's a mistake I'm making, and I know I'm doing it. Um, when I point my cursor there, it says solar angle in, in green. It says cycle to prefab hash. I'm reading it set to prefab hash, and the next item on the list will be solar angle. <clears throat> and so I, I, I set it to the wrong value because I was looking at it wrong. But there we go. The, they're pointing. They should have near near 100% efficiency now. 
Uh, they got 68%, but that's because of their damage at 79% health. So they're losing some efficiency due to their health. How do we repair these things? But it's working. I think. It's not working. They're, they're going down. It, it, it's the, the value's in the wrong way. Something's wrong on the value. Got dividing. The number's going down. That number should be going up. Something's wrong. They're turning up. I need to invert the value, basically. Opposite way, Pete. See, the problem is that's the 15. That, that number there is going down. The sort angle is going down. So sort angle can't be right. Vertical sets it to 19 degrees. Because that then takes it to 10 and decreasing. It should be increasing number. Ugh. The other angle of 1 to 180. The other angle is 14 and dropping. Why is it, why is it dropping? I'm going to break that and go down the idea that the guide is also wrong again. Thank you, tool. That's exactly where I wanted it to be. And that is what's supposed this because the guide's like 15 different guides that say the same thing. I'm going to say it should be on this wall here. I uh, need some wire meter, so I'm out of wire. I need that wiring into this circuit here. You got it? Oh, I can just drop me a lot of wire and I can do it. Drop me the wire. Thank you. I'm gonna go with the uh, the idea that the guides are bad. Alright, that's wide in. So now are you, screwdriver, should take a value from the daylight sensor. From the daylight sensor, there, and then give me the solar angle. Oop, over the go. Alright, the guy that said they can go vertical was all was bollocks. The one that said it goes on the west side was the one that's correct. Wow. I hate the guys when they're out of date and it's updating. Because one guy said it could be vertical, one side said it on this side. So, I'm done. I'm walking away. This thing, however, needs to be fixed. So, wire cutters. Ah. Yeah. 
it's working. The, it's tracking the sun now. Yep. Okay. It is. Which is excellent. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> that, however. That didn't sound good, though. Was that a storm on the way I heard? That was me jumping off of people. Oh, see, I heard a sound that sounded a bit like a storm. <clears throat> okay, we go. I'm not going to clean that up because that would mean cutting the cable, which would kill all this lot, so no. Yeah. <clears throat> but that little cable can't be connected to that one. Otherwise, the whole circuit would uh, would connect to the base circuit and then be weird. Yeah. But these can never lose power. If these lose power, the whole mechanics breaks down, you have to reprogram them. Yeah. Which is why you need that little power box there with its own power uh, battery inside it. And given how much has it's been set up, I put a large battery in there and stay in the large battery. <laughs> One of doors is op like program or set up, but powered. I just don't know how I should wire the cable to here. Well, here's the thing: uh, you need the ports on the inside <clears throat> because if you're going to have it uh, auto open and close and do the depressurizing and all the other lock stuff, then the controls need to receive data from the inside. But we also need to set the power into the inside. Yeah, the power can be brought in through the uh, through the edge. That's not a, a big issue. That can be done. <clears throat> but how is your uh, room over there? It uh, <clears throat> looking good. I mean, it's ready. You know, sounds. It's. You quite flash it. Yeah, but I'm trying to dismantle it. You. Drink, 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 drink. Because what we gotta do is gotta take this portable tank of oxygen or any gas really um, in that room. I have it pressurize that room at a higher level than two kilopascals. We need to heat the place up so that it's not cold. Although it's actually it's thirteen degrees in, inside the base right now. The minus one outside, so it's already got a bit of a thermal level. Well, this room will be even more thermal. <clears throat> oh, that room's gonna have a air conditioning, and it's gonna be it might put TV in there, and <laughs> well, for, like joke aside, it's actually gonna be more thermal protected than our main base because of the fact that it's double door, and most of the time it's gonna be shut. <clears throat> yeah. So we need to have an airlock system <clears throat> that will. Basically, uh, stop the, the air from the two rooms mixing, if possible. Now, there's a <clears throat> we do get components to build an airlock, so that's something that we already have with us. Well, I needed to make the, the airlock. I mean, literally, it's airlock circuit there, airlock console there, oh, like active that, end yeah. there. The parts to make an airlock are here. <clears throat> we had two doors when we started, those are currently in the front of the base right now. Got a big error on my screen, big um, development console error pop up. Oh no. I don't know how to get rid of the development console. It should be a close button. But yeah, uh, try to watch your stream. I don't no, see I it. No, I don't see one. Can't move it's it either. Just to <laughs> try to see it. <clears throat> I think I got one earlier. One of those. We're driving 40 watts. Something's turned on. Yeah. 
could be off, 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 off. Ah, uh, uh, okay. It's the circuit circuit upstairs. <coughs> the the new the new solar panel circuit. But um, how will we drop power into this this one? I can't dismantle. Give me a moment. Um, I just got to figure out where. I can, can I give this a dabbing console as a question? That I can actually help you because I can't see a, like important area of my screen is missing like the toolbox. Uh, station is dev console. Mm -mm -mm. Hit the and it will close and close up your mouse. Okay. Mm, no, I don't see a button to close the console. Hit escape and close it with mouse. Uh, how do you hide it? It's just giving errors. Just happening. No. I don't have a... Oh, there it is. When I clicked it on the, I had to click on the console for the box to pop up for the close. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So power in here, let's see. Uh, I have some power cables, let's see if I can run them in different ways. Can I push it through the door? Can I go through the door? But we can go through the wall usually. Yes. Yeah. So. You can go roof on here, have you? Good. I do. With glass, we can go roof. So I can, uh, I can pass a cable through the roof. <laughs> And then might then pipe it into the main base wing. Um <laughs> See the uh, the old solar panel cable. Nope, not at the moment. It's this on the roof over here. Go. Do I need to dismantle this? Come on, grinder. Right, goes. No, that's. Come on. Um. No. Solar panel, solar panel, solar panel. <coughs> there we go. Look straight up there. Right, so this cable's got to be disconnected. Just confirm that's still connected to the solar panels. Damn it. Give me that back. I need that. Power low. Crap. Ah. There you go. Fix the uh, roofing for you. Why <laughs> cutters? Oh yeah, I see this all panel now. That should now be connected to the solar panels again. Keys. E connect. Solar panel on. Slide battery on. I tell you, this game hates me. <laughs> Alright, put that up there. Give me the wire cores. Solar solar panels reconnected. <clears throat> that cable going across the roof can be used for your airlock door and your other room. Just need to link it into the main power grid. Uh... There you go. That link the cable runs across the roof. That is going to be for basically every power in the other room. It's going to go across there for now. 
this will need to be at some point uh, upgraded to. Uh, <clears throat> this will have to be upgraded at some point to take a higher voltage cable because it's going to be at some point to. Uh, too much voltage for it.